Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Last night, uh, I was looking for something to watch, so I was uh, browsing through the uh, Amazon recommended horror stuff on uh, Prime and on demand and for rental and everything, and I came across a movie that I vaguely remember hearing about earlier in the year. Uh, it's called Always Watching a Marble Hornet's Story. I was kind of a fan of the Marble Hornets YouTube series that went on uh, once I stumbled upon it completely accidentally one day uh, a few years ago. For anyone who doesn't know, which is likely a lot of people because it's vaguely obscure for how popular it is online, uh, Marble Hornets is a found footage series. Uh, telling the story about uh, this guy that set out to make a little independent film and accidentally started catching on film uh, this Slender Man character. Now, I'll talk a little bit about Slender Man in a minute, but what you have to know is that he's a tall guy with no face, wearing a suit that shows up in odd places. In Marble Hornets, uh, as the series progresses, it goes from being nearly completely surreal uh, and disjointed in the way it's telling the story because it's found footage um, to having a more com complex and concrete plot by the time it ended uh, a year or so ago. Uh, and it's not a bad story at all. It's very interesting. It's very creepy. Uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea because of the whole found footage, cinema verite type uh, thing that a lot of people would classify as bad acting and uh, not good film work, but that's kind of exactly what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be regular people doing this stuff in an amateurish way, uh, and they were very successful in that. So successful that they've moved on to another web series now, and they've got uh, a bunch of fans that are funding them on a regular basis, so they've succeeded in that. But the biggest success, most likely, is inspiring this movie that I rented on Amazon for 99 cents. Uh, so right off the top, there's a low bar for me to enjoy this because I've paid less than a dollar for it. It's based on a web series that I already like, and it's got a couple of recognizable faces in it. It's also done in mostly a found footage style. This one is about a uh, news crew, a uh, cameraman, a uh, reporter, and a producer, who, while working on a story, stumble across a box of videotapes uh, in this family home. Those videotapes uh, contain images of Slender Man, uh, called the op also called The Operator. And the uh, meta plot there is that the husband in this family started seeing this Slender Man character and things in his life started falling apart. The, the police wouldn't believe him, the, his uh, wife wouldn't believe him until she saw it himself, and ultimately, as is the case in a lot of horror stuff, lots of death begins to happen. Uh, and we get to see uh, firsthand in the uh, personages of the news crew, how that lack of sleep that gets induced, how the stress that gets induced, how the fact that half the people don't believe that the other guy is seeing this thing uh, really tears up dynamics, especially when you throw in a couple of other things uh, like the fact that the cameraman and the uh, newscaster had a little fling for a while, uh, and now she's dating the producer guy. So you get all sorts of interpersonal crossover drama. Uh, again, it's not for everyone because it's the found footage style, uh, but it's well done enough, and it's, for me, it held the tension really well because I know that Slender Man can pop up absolutely anywhere. And because everything is through the lens of the camera, well, we're going to see that typical glitch in the camera feed, hear that noise, and then uh, see him pop up somewhere, and then something really bad is likely to happen. So every time in this movie where there's a shot that's just sitting there, even if it's just people sleeping, 
I'm waiting for something to happen, and that tension level is building up, and it worked really well for me. I enjoyed it a lot. And not as much as I've enjoyed some other things, but uh, for all things uh, considered, it's definitely, uh, you know, a six or a seven on a ten point scale, so I recommend it, especially if you're fans of the whole Slender Man genre and uh, found footage stuff, and if, especially if you were a fan of the Marble Hornets series. There, there's a couple of background references to it. Uh, it's very, very neat. Now, Slender Man. Slender Man is possibly the only urban legend where we can definitively trace where it began. Because uh, it started online, in a message board, uh, and it's got a really interesting history behind it. I'll post a link to uh, the basic history uh, down there. But it managed to crawl out of that thread and start to permeate all sorts of other places on the internet. Uh, to the point where there have been actual cases in the real world of people killing in the name of finding favor with Slender Man. Now that's, that's a big jump from something that you can trace the origins of with a quick Google search to believing that if you kill someone, you will gain favor with this obviously fictional character. Uh, there was a story about a year ago of two girls who uh, outright tried to murder a third girl uh, in order to gain entry into the Slender Man's uh, kingdom of whatever. And they're, they're just crazy. Um, and they're the sort of people that seem to be looking for an excuse to do stuff, which is often the case with a lot of things like this. It's just a convenient hook. Uh, for their issues to uh, lock into, because uh, there's really nothing in the Slender Man mythology uh, that I've ever seen about him having some happy castle somewhere. Uh, and that's most certainly nothing that's ever been put forward in the Marble Hornet stuff uh, or most of the other permutations that I have seen of, uh, of Slender Man. Uh, but Slender Man, definitely an interesting character simply because he's a new urban legend that has managed to really capture the imaginations of people, inspired the Marble Hornet series, uh, which has in turn inspired this movie, always watching a Marble Hornet story. Uh, check it out. It's cheap. You don't have anything other than about an hour and a half and a buck to lose. Uh, so let me know what to think if you watch it. Let me know if you've seen Marble Hornets and if you're a fan of, of Marble Hornets, because there's... I'm curious. Uh, also, uh, if you like what I've had to say, uh, hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up down there. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet so you can get notified when every one of these videos comes out. And if you know people who are interested in found footage stuff or other horror movie stuff, uh, share this with them. Get it out there. Uh, let them see it. Let them comment if they're Slender Man fans. So I hope everyone's having a uh, good time. Uh, and that's it for today. I'll, I'm Kier, and I'll see you tomorrow.